as I said earlier, this was a request. So if you want me to make anything, just drop it in the comments. I'll go ahead and take a look at it, see if I can. You know what I mean? I ain't Superman. You know? I ain't Gordon Ramsay. Comparing those two just felt wild to me. Why did I say Superman and Gordon Ramsay? Superman in the kitchen. I got up from the streets and then gave her back. Ooh. I went for a second, then doubled on back. It get lonely at night, that's whack. Told her come over, she knew I'm a crook. What's good, y'all, man? We are back with another dorm room dishes, and today we're taking a request. We're making devil's food, chocolate cake. It's only gonna take about 10 minutes. So let's get right into it. Come on, come on, come on, me. Now, if you don't know what devil's food cake is, it's effectively a more chocolatey chocolate cake. Where chocolate cake typically uses melted chocolate, devil's food cake uses cocoa powder, giving it a darker color and a more chocolatey taste. You know what I'm saying? It's like new on Viv, old on Viv. You know what I'm saying? In fact, <laughs> It's like new and vid, old and vid. In fact, it's darker color is the reason it's called devil's food cake. And angel food cake is a lighter color. Hey, I ain't saying, I ain't saying it's racist, but I ain't saying it ain't. In all seriousness, you're gonna need eight ingredients for this devil's food cake. You're gonna need three tablespoons of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, an eighth of a cup of cocoa powder, an egg, an eighth of a cup of butter, an eighth of a cup of milk. And that's the eight. I had to look at my phone. I, I, I'm sick of forgetting the ingredients. You've seen in previous videos, I forget the number, I forget what ingredients there are until I look at it again. So now I'm looking at the phone, all right? All right? <laughs> oh, I forgot my, I forgot my, my apron. Where's my apron? Yo, y'all wasn't going to say nothing, man. That's crazy. I thought we was friends. Machiavelli was right. It's better to be feared than loved. If you feared me, you would have told me my apron was missing. Back to the actual recipe. You're going to go ahead and get yourself a bowl. And to it, you're going to add your three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, and eighth of, a, eighth of a tablespoon of cocoa powder. One more time, because I think I might have said something that was wrong. <laughs> Three tablespoons of flour, eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and an eighth of a tablespoon of cocoa powder. Add it to this bowl. I'm gonna cut some footage of me adding it to the bowl, so you can see how I really do this too, you know what I'm saying? You know what's hilarious? I said it twice and still managed to get it wrong. It's an eighth of a cup of cocoa powder, not an eighth of a tablespoon. I think I said eighth of a tablespoon in the video, like the recording just now. Eighth of a cup. That's two tablespoons. An eighth of a cup is two tablespoons. Now that you got your dry ingredients all collected, you're gonna go ahead and melt down your two tablespoons of butter. Just give me one second. Mix together your dry ingredients, leaving something looking like this. And to it, we're gonna add our butter, our eighth of a cup of milk, which is again, two tablespoons, our egg, and something I'm gonna add, which is optional, but I've read may make your cake taste a little bit better. Vanilla extract, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, how, you know how we feel about vanilla extract on this channel, you know what I'm saying. If you don't, go watch the other videos. I'm just gonna add in a, a dash. Once you have your ingredients together, go ahead and mix them up. If you have a whisk, use a whisk. I might have a whisk somewhere in this house, I'm not gonna look for it though, I'm using a spoon. When you're done mixing the ingredients, you should be left with a batter that looks something like this. Now what we're gonna do with this batter is one of two things. You can either go ahead and pour this into a cup to make it more presentable, whatever you're gonna eat it out of. I'm gonna eat it out of this bowl, so I'm leaving it in this bowl. We're gonna take it to the microwave and go put it in there for three minutes. Make sure you wash the cake to ensure that the batter doesn't go outside of your bowl or cup as it rises. And also to make sure that you don't overcook it, you know what I'm saying? Every month microwave is different. Just make sure the edges are looking a little firm and the center is like almost kind of set. You may have noticed that I'm not washing it myself. And to that I say, mind your business. I, I haven't said that in a while. It's been like five videos since I said that. I, I gotta get it off, mind your business. When your cake is done, go ahead and take it out of the microwave and let it cool down. You see, your boy got oven mist this time. The bowl is hot. Don't burn yourself, you know what I'm saying? As I said earlier, this was a request. So if you want me to make anything, just drop it in the comments. 
I'll go ahead and take a look at it, see if I can. You know what I mean? I ain't Superman. You know? I ain't Gordon Ramsay. Comparing those two just felt wild to me. Why did I say Superman and Gordon Ramsay? Superman in the kitchen. My point is, I'm gonna try, drop it in the comments, and I'll see what I can do for you. You see it. Mm hmm. I know I didn't give you a time for how much to wait till it cools. It's like I said, a couple of minutes. You know, just touch it, feel it. You'll see when it's cool enough. As always, y'all, thank you for watching the video. Let me know if you make this just yourself. And again, comment below if you make anything else. For any other video ideas you want me to do, just comment below. We'll see what we can do. Um, yeah. As always, y'all, I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. Ah! I caught it, though. Peace. Why can't I do peace with my right hand? What am I doing? It's pretty good, though. Hold on. <laughs> I might have done something with this one.